Hi, well as you can probably tell by the stained glass, I'm in my leather workshop doing woodwork. <laughs> well, what I'm doing, I'm going to be basically varnishing my Glasgow chair. And I hear you say the word varnish. Um, don't you often oil your wood? I do. But this time I'm going to varnish and there are a couple of reasons for this actually. One is I don't want any oil penetration on my glue joints. Because with the chair I'm actually relying quite a lot on fairly limited joints. So I want those joints to hold up 100% strong. So varnish is better than glue in that respect. The other thing is I have got an awful lot of time. I want to enter this into a competition and I haven't got very much time now. So I feel the varnish will actually dry quicker. And the third reason, it will get fairly rough service when it's in use. So whilst you can re-white the oil, it does pick up stains off um, clothing, etc. So I'm going to use a nice silk, high quality interior varnish and sink it in very nice and carefully. I have done this before and I know it can work quite well if you apply it carefully and sand in between your coats. So that's what I'll be doing. I always enjoy the first coat of varnish because you get to see all the lovely grain coming out. Of course you do get to see all your problems as well so you end up having to sand and scrape and try and sort out where it's not quite right but it is nice because you know you put the varnish on and wow <laughs> it sort of comes to life. You get this lovely, I, I do love this elm. This elm is quite hard to get hold of now in the UK, um, unlike in America where I know you can get various elms very plentifully, but um, it's quite hard here, but it does look beautiful, it really does. Look at that. <laughs> I know now, now know why it's worth the effort of trying to find a nice log of elm. Beautiful, from work this varnish in. What I'll do between my coats of varnish, I'll probably end up putting about six or seven coats on in actual fact. I'll give a very light sand between coats and that will actually help sort of get it nice and smooth. I don't want it looking clunky and frankly naff and cheap. <laughs> so that, that just helps get it nice and well even and not too heavy. So the danger with varnishing obviously is it all looks jelly and yuck and cheap. So um careful application, sanding in between coats and it can look very good indeed if done properly. So I'll carry on, get some varnish on and I'll let this dry in my, I say my leather working shop here because it's not quite so dusty as my wood shop. But it all looks rather shiny at the moment but this varnish it will sink into the wood and when it does dry it is also a satin finish so it's like a a dull shine and a bit of beeswax on top when I finish giving it its numerous coats will actually just give it a nice natural a bit more like a French polish type of lustre. I'm keeping the wood natural because I quite like the wood to be sort of natural colour. It will go a bit darker with age. Could stain it sort of a brown but most of my other bits of furniture I've kept in a fairly natural state and I quite like it personally but it's Appreciate all these things, it's down to personal preference really, what you like doing. Our first coat of varnish is on, so that's always nice to get to that stage. We well, here are the stained glass inserts I've made for the, the back. So some little leaves and then a Glasgow rose. So I've made those using, like in the stained glass films I've put up, um, very thin lead cane and nice rolled cathedral rolled glass. Yeah, that makes quite attractive, catch the light a bit. So those would be going into the back of the chair. I've just been cleaning up the back actually, giving it the sand down. So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm, I've am i given the chair one coat of satin finish varnish and at the moment I'm going over all my little sort of like glue splodges with a knife or a scraper. So where I find a little bit of sort of imperfection somewhere on the surface, I'm just using a bird metal scraper to scrape the varnish off and I give the whole thing a sand which basically takes all sort the of sort of rough spots down and it stops the varnish sort of level building up so I'll keep doing that and I'll apply several coats of varnish until I've filled all the pores. What I'll then do at the end is I'll give it another sand over 
with some probably with some plastic wool so I'll show you that in a minute which will just take the, any residual sort of silkiness off the varnish because what I don't want is the varnish to look like varnish and finally on top of that beeswax so just applying a bit of beeswax with a duster anyway I'll carry on doing all of this and then in the next film I'll actually show the finished chair which would be great well this is the plastic wool that I use it's just enough to take the sort of top surface of the varnish off because I mean to me the worst thing about varnish you know, it's like a wool worst thing about varnish is if it looks like varnish so carefully prepared and if you put on it sounds ridiculous when I say about six layers but if you sand between the coats you're actually taking off quite a lot so you're doing a very thin finished layer it's just a gentle build up but it should come up quite well so anyway hope you enjoy seeing the progress and as I say next film we'll have the finished chair thanks for watching